Hi, welcome to the Progressive Channel. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and do not forget to press the bell icon so you do not miss out on any creative and artistic videos. I'm from Botswana, living in diaspora in Namibia, and I'm an artist. Uh, I consider myself as a printer and a printmaker which is my favorite medium. And at the same time, I'm also doing some lecturing at the College of the Art for the past four years now. And I'm currently you know, lecturing textile designs and printmaking at the college. Currently, I'm exploring a lot in the sculptural form. So I'm trying to make a couple of sculptures which are in form of uh, boxes or paperwork. So I'm trying to focus on doing sculptures which are not so heavy sculptures which are really light and easy to carry and can occupy you know, public spaces at the same time. But in most cases, the sculptures which need to be in public, in, into open spaces, they need to be durable. And durable sculptures you know, mainly consist of what? You know, which is stone, metal, and other hard surfaces. So for this time, I'm just trying to challenge myself to, to use another medium. Yeah, and the current or the new medium I'm exploring is boxes. You know, I realized that there are a lot of boxes around lines and so forth. So I go to the manufacturers and get the boxes which they are throwing away, and I'm trying to recycle those boxes into sculptural forms, whether figures or animals or any other thing you can imagine which is more of an object. So basically, I'm more focusing in using cut boxes as my main medium or new medium in sculpture you know though i know i'm a printmaker and a painter but i mean i feel like you know i miss a lot when it comes to a sculptural format so cut boxes will be the kind of like a new thing to me yeah and considering the process of making the sculptures you know in cut boxes you know it's a little bit tedious kind of like work so what i do is like i take you know a flat sheet of box you know, and they need to be always flat, you know, so and then I stack each and every box on top of another one. So I glue them into each other so that they create a certain thickness. And from that thickness, then I will determine whether I like the thickness where it's too big or it's too small. So my sculptural format is more based into, you know, cutting certain cubes after I have stuck all those boxes into a certain thickness. So then I will use those uh, off cuts which I'm going to cut from the boxes as my material now to build up a sculpture. So it's like I'm using tubes to start, you know, building up a sculpture using the already stuck kind of like boxes together. Yeah, so far I will really, I don't know to say, I pamper myself on my shoulders of having found the new medium which I'm comfortable with, which is not so heavy to work with. But for as long as it's got reputation into it, because I'm more inspired by reputation in every work I do, whether it's painting or it's printmaking or it's assembling of boxes, they need to be that rhythm which is already involved in my statement. It's almost like my iconography. Whatever repeats itself, I'm more inspired. So now in this sense, I'm so happy because I had this opportunity to explore all this, you know, within a certain time frame, which is two weeks. Even the sculptures which I mean the sculpture which I'm going to exhibit, it's not yet finished because I really need to take it to the next level. And taking it to the next level is to make sure that it stays in an open space and it can be durable in an open space. So I'll need to coat it, you know, and see what kind of medium or relevant medium I'll use to coat it with so that at least it can stay forever in an open space.
Thank you for watching. Your views and opinions will grow the progressive artists. Please do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more creative content.